After the partition of Punjab in 1947, the deputy Punjab required a new capital. Thus, Le Corbusier was commissioned by the first Prime Minister of India to build a new city of, of Chandigarh. The brief of the design was a city, unfettered by the tradition of the past, a symbol of the nation faith in the future. Subsequently, Corbusier and his team built not just a large and high card building, but all major buildings in the city and down to the door handles on the public offices. Today, many of the buildings are considered moder modernist masterpieces. Corbusier, after he was eventually selected for the project in 1950, immediately responded strongly to the site conditions. We are in a plane, he wrote. The chain of the Himalayas lots the landscape magnificently. The smallest building appears to be tall and commanding. He rapidly set to work drafting a layout of the new city, carefully delineating it between two rivers that drain from the hills into the plain. At the rivulet, the smallest, Kabulzier designed it as the armature of the prime ecological zone of the city, which was later renamed as the Lesuri Valley. Unsurprisingly, Le Corbusier located a capital complex that will hold the, magnific the magnificent buildings of the state, which he was to the same personally. At the very northern edge of the site, carefully articulated into an exclusive protected zone with the mountains, on one side and the rest of the city on, on the other. Within this narrow strip of land, Kalpuzia located the terminus of the capital, defined by two squares of 800 meters each. The Kalpuzia plans for the capital consisted for, in four buildings. Only three of these were ever realized the High Court, the Legislative Assembly, and the Secretariat. The fourth building, the Governor's Palace, was never built. The Secretariat building is a long, horizontal concrete slab form, 254 meters long and 42 meters high, and marks the edge of the capital complex on the left side. It is very similar with Corbusier Marcel Block, and had a quite loft, lofty goal to revolutionize the modern office building. The Secretariat was among the first buildings designed as a healthy building, with careful attention paid to natural lighting, ventilation, and organizational efficiency. To maximize natural lighting and increase car ventilation, a long and narrow plan was implemented by Corbusier. This approach also helps to delineate both the actual and the implied borders of the capital complex as a whole. To visually reduce the scale of its massive facade, the Secretariat was designed with a model of facade that fragments the elevation into legible programmatic elements. This approach not only prevents onlookers from being over overheld by its scale, it also plays an important role with regard to the deadline scheme of the project as a whole. One of the Corbusier more prominent buildings from India is the Palace of the Assembly in Chandigarh. Corbusier five points of architecture can be found within the design of its open plan to the view of the Himalayan landscape. The program features a circular assembly chamber, a forum for conversation and transactions, a stir-free circulation, Corbusier's design for views is then apparent from all facades. The sun shading along the offices provides a frame for inhabitants into the surrounding sites while the portico opens 
to the adjacent landscape at the different scheme layers. Inside, the palace of assembly houses an open plan structure by the grid reinforced concrete con by the grid of reinforced concrete cones. Again, this structural pattern allows the Cabusier to, manip to manipulate the program freely and place offices all over the private program along the outside of the plan and leave the center open for the public use. Intersecting that open space is the circular assembly chamber that is contractually informed to producing good acoustics. Another feature of Chandigarh complex is the open hat monument. It is the emblem or, or the symbol of the government of Chandigarh and symbolizes the hand to give and the hand to take, peace and prosperity in the unity of mankind. It is the largest example of the composition many open hand sculptures. It stands 26 meters high. The metal structure with veins weighs 50 short tons and was designed to rotate with the wind. Also the towers of shadow. It is almost like an experiment. It's a pavilion covered with an open thicket of structured concrete, which allows wind and light to come inside into the building.